Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to analyze the song Madiri by Leonard Dembo. So first of all, Leonard Dembo is arguably the best musician ever produced by the country of Zimbabwe. Leonard Dembo has chained hit after hit ever since the time he first took the guitar and started recording. His music is still being enjoyed by people all over the world. He is my personal favorite and is the best at what he what he does. So may he so continue to rest in peace as we analyze his song. So this song is called Madiri or Shamariangu Warova. That's the other name for that song, Shamariangu Warova. In this song, Dembo is talking about an imaginary friend or real friend. We are not sure as to whether this was an imaginary friend or a real friend of his. But what we can deduce from the lyrics is that he hadn't seen his friend for a long time and he was worried about this friend. He was asking his friend now, Warova ne kukudaro. So Warova ne kukudaro, it means why is it that I haven't been seeing you in a long time? What has been happening in your life? This friend had been missing from the map. So the friend then tries to brush him aside by saying he had been busy with work and this and that. So when he says, Basarangara kanti wandira. So he's just putting an excuse to say it, I've been busy with work. But then Dembo being the observant and caring friend that he is, he notices some scars on his friend. Probably these are scars from a prison stint. So then he said, Mukomanawe madiri an one kwane malanga. So which means if you are doing dealing and things that are not according to the law, you will be seen with those scars that are on your face. So in this phrase, we now get much more in clearer picture of his friend's dealing ways. And he had ended up being brushing with the law. In the other verse, the friend confirms the source of his scars by only saying his affinity with get-rich schemes, which landed him in hot soup when he says, Yangu yekuda kupfumai. So Yangu yekuda kupfumai, it means I just want to be rich. I want money. So sometimes I end up doing things that are outside of the law. But Dembo being the good friend is saying no. It's good to be rich. But as long as you are doing it the right way. Do not do things that you end up in jail. You cause so much pain to everyone. When you are in jail, your friends, your relatives, everyone is affected now. So then we, Dembo being the good friend, he ends up with some words of encouragement for his friend to stop his wayward ways. He says even mom, dad. And the relatives are crying, telling you to stop when he says, Siyana Nazo, Vanu Chema Amai, Vanu Chema Baba and Muriese. In the, sh in the short, the song encourages hard work within the confines of the law and it discourages people from trying to get rich at all costs. His friend scars here are being used as a metaphor and a vivid way to illustrate the harm to self and the pain this causes to loved ones. So... For Leonard Dembo, this has been a good song and I love this song. And as you guys listen to the song, just take note of the lessons that are in the song. It's good to be rich, but as long as we do it within the law. That's all I had for you today, guys. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. If you have any songs, Zimbabwean songs, that you want us to analyze and tell you the meanings, just comment on the box down below and we'll do it for you. Thank you.